In other global news, Pope Francis has kicked off a five-day visit to Canada. His trip will center around his apology on behalf of the Roman Catholic Church for the abuse of the indigenous children at church-run residential schools. And the visit comes after years of pleas from indigenous leaders for a Vatican apology about the schools which were designed to erase indigenous culture and language by forcibly separating children from their families to assimilate them into Western culture. Pope Francis, who reached Canada on Sunday, said that his visit is a penitential pilgrimage to ask for forgiveness on Canadian soil for the evil done to native people by Catholic pilgrimages. Buona domenica a tutti, benvenuti, grazie di questo servizio e anche questa compagnia, e io la vivo come una compagnia, grazie per il vostro lavoro e piacerebbe salutarvi come sempre, credo che io ce la faccio girare, possiamo andare, e stiamo attenti in questo viaggio che come ha detto è un viaggio penitenziale, facciamolo con questo spirito. The pontiff who arrived in the Canadian city of Edmonton was received by Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Mary Mayor Simon, who is Canada's first Indigenous Governor General. Upon his arrival, he greeted other Indigenous leaders and was welcomed with traditional drumming at the airport. He is scheduled to visit a former residential school and meet with other indigenous people today, after which he will be visiting Quebec City before departing on Friday. I, I actually, I teared up. Um, and I think it's just because I have such immense respect for him, uh, particularly this Pope who is focused on reconciliation and understanding what's gone on here in Canada and I think that that's of critical importance and so I, I tremendously respect the fact that he's come here to Canada to try to heal some of those wounds. Now between 1881 and 1996, more than 150,000 indigenous children were separated from their families and brought to these residential schools. Many children were then starved, beaten and sexually abused in a system that Canada's Truth and Reconciliation Commission called cultural genocide. Now, while Canada's leaders have known about high numbers of children dying at the schools since 1907, the issue was thrust to the fore with the discovery of suspected unmarked graves near former residential school sites last year. The Pope had earlier apologized for the Catholic Church's role in these schools during a visit by indigenous delegates to the Vatican, but now he is in the Canadian soil to extend his apology further. However, the survivors and indigenous leaders say that they want more. They have called for financial compensation, release of school records and the return of indigenous artifacts. Il 